worked out those kinks and I'll get the chat box back open. So if you have any questions, please um, pop the chat, pop them into the chat. My name is Jacob Harkins, if you didn't catch that before. And I am here with Vintage Wine Storage Systems for the Vino Series and Beyond Product Knowledge Webinar. This is one of three that we offer on a, um, on a, on a uh, quarterly basis. Um, the program that we offer, so uh, we, we also offer wine cellar design trends, passive versus active wine cellars, which will be tomorrow, and how to sell a wine cellar, which will be next week. And if you missed it last week, uh, yesterday we did the, um, we did our uh, W series and the framing system there. A little bit about us, Vintage View is the, uh, oh, I think I'm, I'm one step ahead. So today we're gonna jump into the Vino series, uh, Vino series post and plate systems. If you used our, um, our pins and rails before, you're gonna learn a lot of new cool ways to do them with these new patent pended systems that launched about three weeks ago. Uh, Evolution, Wine Wall, um, and the other systems that make up that, program, that, that collection, including a brand new uh, post system that it gives us another opportunity to create floating wine walls, really beautiful stuff. And then we'll round out this with our case and crate, which is our stylish contemporary locker system. Vintage Wine Storage Systems Modernized Wine Cellar Design will be created the first uh, way before Wine Rack, all the way back in 2001. We continue to push the envelope of design acumen uh, by creating beautiful products that will make your wine cellars every bit as functional as they are beautiful. We pride ourselves on being the company that really elevated, literally, the wine cellar from the back dusty basement up into main floor living and really prominent locations in, um, in commercial settings. We love to work with talented design professionals, wine cellar builders, uh, architects, et cetera, just like you. So jumping into the first product, and we're gonna move pretty quick today because we have a lot to cover and I wanna be really mindful of your time. Um, the Vino series, this is what we consider the designer's approach to label forward. These are pegs and uh, rails. So we do a label forward system as well as a contemporary cork forward system that really allow us to get a little bit um, creative with how we, we design and lay out and space our, our wine uh, rooms, wine walls, wine projects. This is the uh, only pe uh, peg system that has a trusted proven drywall anchor system. So this is great for brand new builds where you know what's behind the wall and if you have backer, you know, wood backer, et cetera, but it's also uh, fabulous to do upgrades if you're going into drywall or on a wet bar or doing some other remodeling. So lots of versatility and we'll get into that. As with just about everything we do, the idea here is we want you to be able to create custom wine cellars with our products by scaling and choosing the right pieces to, to meet the bottle capacity, the style needs, et cetera, of your um, client requests. So the, the pins, which are the label forward version, they come in different pieces that can expand up to triple uh, bottle depth. So you can do a very minimalist look, spread them out, or you can pack them in and do max capacity, just like our W series for um, wine columns. We also have, using the same um, pins, but with a spacer, can do uh, magnum and champagne bottles up to two bottles deep. Our cork forward rails have, um, actually both a, a, a Magnum and a standard bottle as well. So regardless of a bottle up to 1.5 liters, we've got a solution here. These numbers are really great to just be familiar with if you're trying to spatially uh, recognize what might fit in a project. Uh, know that we all, always back up uh, everything we produce with um, complementary CAD designs. So if you need to envision how these fit, you don't need to memorize these numbers, it's just really good to understand how they fit. One of the things that sets our Vino pins apart is the same thing that sets our W series apart. It's the neck and base advantage. This is our patent design from the original label forward wine rack that we invented. We have a unique divot for both the um, neck of the bottle and a wider one for the base that holds it a little bit more securely in a peg system. We have the offset uh, ability for anchoring that gives it that great look both from um, an aesthetic point of view as well as for long-term aging where we uh, can can put that bottle on ever so slightly at uh, an angle to allow the wine to touch natural cork for, for aging. So this is a really great designer look and it's very functional as well. Something that not a lot of people can come close to because of our patents. 
We talk about um, using this system in drywall, and the way we are able to use this, is, and I'll, I'll point this out in the next slide, um, is a collar system. We sell a collar alongside the pins and rails. It's a disc that goes between the pin or the rail and the, and, uh, and the wall and the drywall anchor. Um, so this is what allows us to get that stability up to three bottles deep um, in standard drywall. Um, the collars themselves are an optional upgrade. If you're doing a wood wall or masonry, some people like the look of it and will add that in. Um, beyond that, it's always required for, um, for drywall installation. And as we start touching on the finishes, I'll just point out here that collar that you're seeing right there is the optional uh, disc, and that's, that is what we add to make it stable into all drywall applications. Um, so super easy to use. We've tested this. Um, it supports in three bottles deep upwards of uh, close to 20 pounds um, when three bottles of wine that you'd be floating on here weigh about nine, so plenty of, of, of room to spare. Uh, beyond the fact that we can go successfully into drywall, one of the things that sets our Vino series apart are the finishes. We offer more finishes than any other uh, uh, competitor on the market to give you that versatility to match other hardware and kitchens, uh, wine cellars, et cetera, to really meet your client's needs. We started with the aluminum. Uh, it's a really uh, cool, sleek look, a little bit shiny, not quite chrome, but uh, it really adds a nice, nice look in, in kitchens, wet bars, etc. We have a gloss black. Um, this is, if you're familiar with our W series, this is not the same black as our W series, as it's got a little sheen to it. This is an anodized process that goes into aluminum, where um, we use a, a flat black, matte black in our W series steel products. Um, but really good, nice little, um, nice little bling, a nice little shine to it for, for uh, a little bit of pizzazz. We have acrylic. This is only for our single deep vino pins, so we can't go off the wall more than that. We can't offer this in the vino rails. But when a client wants something super minimal and they want single deep bottle capacity, this is just a beautiful, nearly invisible way to attach bottles of wine to a wall. And then in the last uh, couple of months, we have launched two new designer finishes. So we have Golden Bronze. This is, as the name suggests, a hybrid of kind of that, that gold finish and, and some of the bronzes, really, really, really relevant today. Um, the designers that we've been working with have been going crazy for this since we launched it uh, late last year. And then we have got uh, gunmetal. Uh, this is really a, uh, a, a darker, uh, sexy, chic um, finish option that really provides a little bit of kind of uh, depth to the, the lineup. So between these five finishes, it's really easy to find things to either match or play off of in your wine cellar or wine wall or wine room designs. Moving on from the finishes, uh, installation. If you were on this yesterday or in some of our previous webinars, uh, we, we hit this home over, home over and over again. We're here to help you, your general contractor, whomever it is that's doing the final install with uh, great installation resources. We've got videos, uh, installation instructions, and a lot of know-how that our, our, our reps can work through with you. So know that we have your back in terms of what you need to do and what you need to know in terms of uh, specifying these. Couple of things to note that while this is a what I would consider an easy product to install, it's a little bit more time intensive than the W series. And the reason being is each bottle has two anchor points compared to um, a column might have uh, 12 bottles to, to, to three anchor points. Um, so just a little bit more in terms of plotting, et cetera, but it, it follows very similar in terms of understanding how to you know, hang, hang drywall anchors uh, with level and measuring. We can offer plotting guides to help map out your wall a little bit. One of the, and that'll save a lot of time in terms of, um, of the actual installation process. If you're doing um, larger projects with uh, a wood backer, which is a, a very common thing for our clientele, we offer a complimentary an M6 driver. This will speed up the, up the time in installing the wood lags into your wood surfaces exponentially so just be sure to request one if our, our reps don't throw it in on an order. Um, we also have masonry hardware if you want to put these pins or rails into concrete. So lots of flexibility, pretty easy to do, uh, it takes a little bit more time than some of our other products so just factor that into your bids. One of the, the great pieces about this, this uh, overall 
collection is just uh, how versatile it, it is in the design world. This image right here is in downtown Denver. This is one of my good friend's homes. We use this to actually launch the Vino pins uh, in 2015. The, my friend, the homeowner, had a very awkward, unusual space above their sink. They didn't quite know what to do with it. And we were able to put 20 bottles of wine storage at you know, a reasonable cost and a reasonable installation for a, a, a very fun, very interactive, uh, passive wine display. This is where they go when they're entertaining. They grab a bottle off the wall. Their friends and, and family who are over for dinner or cheese or whatever uh, get to engage with that really, really great way to just add a nice pop of design that includes wine. Of course, you can start to scale these out a little bit bigger. This was on the cover of our 2018 catalog. This is Boise, just outside of Boise, Idaho, to Eagle, Idaho, a really nice uh, resort community in the mountains. This is a, I think it's about an 80-ish bottle, 92 bottle wine display. And what we use, we space out the pins a little bit more than our typical column racking to allow a little bit more design breathability. We go double deep in the bottle capacity to make sure we have enough capacity for their needs. Glass it in and have a great, uh, great visual in this this living space, this entertaining space. One of the questions we get asked about this in this picture, particular picture all the time, why would anyone put bottles of wine that close to a fireplace? It's a very good question. Um, there's a lot of things to consider when we're talking about aging wines in terms of uh, temperature control and other, uh, um, other ideas of what to do and how to keep that wine safe. We cover that in our active versus uh, passive wine cellar discussion tomorrow. Just know that putting a, a wine display this close to an open, uh, open window to the outside and a fireplace is gonna present challenges. Mostly challenges can be overcome with the right planning and thinking in advance. Um, so we, we can talk through those things in the planning. So jump on that tomorrow if you want more information on those types of uh, conversations. One of the things that we always try and pride ourselves on is a great product that you will be able to sell to your clients, specify to your clients, and have a lot of confidence they're going to be super happy with. And this is really, the, the types of the comments we get are, are very similar to this. The clients wanted something really wow to look at, and this was it. Uh, they installed an entire wall of individual pegs for, for the client, and it just looks awesome. This comes from a builder who, who really had a great experience working this with their clients. Um, so uh, a product we stand behind, we back with our lifetime warranty, and we're going to put a lot, of, uh, a lot of resources behind making you and your clients happy in this. Now, if you've worked with our Vino pins before, you might have known a lot of what we just covered. The great thing is now, in the last month, we have launched uh, the Vino Series Post and the Vino Series Panel. Long in our history of a company, we have used our W Series wine racking on framing systems to create those magical floating wine walls putting them up against glass, room dividers, bringing them off stone, et cetera. We can now do that with our Vino pins and Vino rails. We launched both these systems. The post is the metal um, post that you see on the left-hand side. The panel is that, that clear acrylic window in the middle. At the New American Home and the New American Remodel last month in Las Vegas, a uh, great place to, to see these in these multi-million dollar properties that were seen by thousands of builders and serial designers as part of the International Builder Show. Really, really excited to get these products in your hands. The first is the Vino Series Post. Uh, this is a great system. It is a la carte, build it the way you need it to be built, put wine in any part of the room that you can get your hands on kind of uh, tool all while keeping that minimalist quality of the Vino series itself. This is a two-part frame, two-part post, that comes as a, you know, when coupled together is a 10-foot section, and you cut to fit one side of it on site to meet your, uh, your, your specific ceiling height. Couple things to note on this, especially if you're familiar with our W series and its companion framing system, Regardless of if you put wine on one or both sides, you do not need any additional backer support. When these two pieces are coupled together, uh, the coupler itself is a, uh, a four inch metal coupler that slides into the, uh, the bottom section. It is rock solid and is not going anywhere. This is steel. It's one and a half by one and a half tube steel, super, super rigid. 
It's going to hold up to a lot of things. Um, I'm going to take you through the next, the simple steps to figuring out what you need and how to do this. Um, and, and we'll go from there. So the first step is you actually pick your post. Today we have matte black only. So sim similar to our satin black in the W series. Uh, next month, our, yeah, I think the first week of uh, March we'll have gloss black available. And the first week of April we'll have gunmetal and golden bronze. So those are uh, in production and coming to us soon. Once you've picked your post, essentially pick your finish, the next is to pick the plate that goes on it. The great thing about this system is these plates can be put anywhere you want on the post. So you can go from max capacity to super minimalist looks. Um, you can put different styles of racking on here. The three plates you're seeing here, are the ones that go with the, the cork forward Vino rails, you can go single bottle wide, two bottles wide, or three bottles wide. All of these plates secure very simply into the post using uh, provided metal self-drilling uh, self metal school screws. All you have to do is level, measure, screw in. Um, and we have one plate for the Vino pins, which is the same width as that, um, that middle uh, two bottle wide uh, Vino rails version. Once you have picked your plate, then you pick your racking. Uh, the plate's gonna dictate what racking goes on it. Obviously you put the Vino rails on the Vino rails, Vino pins, et cetera. The Vino rails, you've got your option in one, two, or three bottles wide. Vino pins with our normal extensions can go single, double, or triple bottle deep. Um, really simple to think about. Pick one, pick two. You go post, plate, and then the appropriate racking. One of the great things about this is uh, we're gonna offer a lot of things in standard finishes of what we, what we suggest that you match, but we can do a lot of uh, fun. So we're saying don't be shy about two-tone. Um, in the aluminum Vino pins, we don't act, we are actually launching that to go along with a standard matte black finish. So that's two tone naturally. That's what was featured in the New American Home and the New American Remodel Properties. Um, but you can also put gold, the golden bronze on this. You can put the gun metal on this. Really, uh, whatever you think is going to look best, and we can provide a lot of imagery to help you decide what's going to look best. You know, don't be shy. Go all golden bronze. Go golden bronze and, and black whatever's going to look best in your project. Once you have um, picked the pieces, then you're going to put it together. So the first step you're going to actually do this is you're going to cut the top piece of the post to meet your ceiling height, nine feet, nine and a half feet, eight feet, et cetera. You're going to attach the plates at your predetermined locations. And then you're going to install the post to the floor and to the ceiling. This can, um, we provide just like the W series with everything you need to build the post itself. And then you will provide the actual hardware into the floor and into the ceiling. So uh, concrete, uh, wood back surfaces, whatever is suitable for that. Um, one of the great things about this is you can go into one, two or three or four sides of this. So this example here is a great corner piece here where we've rotated the direction of the bottles. So it has a really great look if you're putting in a corner, a glass corner, or somewhere where it's visible from multiple sides. Our standard spacing vertical on this is going to be five inch center line to center line. Um, that's also the minimum spacing. You can expand that spacing based on your, your project needs to seven inches, 10 inches, whatever, whatever is going to look best for your client needs. Um, like I mentioned here, suitable for a variety of floor and ceiling surfaces is going to follow all the same rules of the W series frame in terms of um, how to install that into, into your, your surfaces. A note on this, um, in the W series frame, we have a lot of accoutrements. We have elbow brackets, we have angled brackets, and all of these other things that allow us to do a more flexible uh, installations into floor and back to the wall, into under the staircase on angles, et cetera. We will have all those in our lineup by uh, mid to late April. Uh, we can do them on a custom basis today, but we're, we're working to have those as standard options shortly. The Vino series panel is the more minimal, even more minimalist way to float our Vino pins and Vino rails on there. There's two versions of this. The one that's available today, which is we're calling the Vino series panel custom. This is designed to meet your specific needs of, of size, bottle capacity in advance. So we actually will design this with you, pick the height, pick the bottle configuration. We will build and assemble everything with the exception of installing the actual pins into the, um, into the acrylic. 
Uh, so this thing will come in a crate, essentially ready to lift and push into place. This acrylic panel can go up to 10 feet tall, can have a variety of different bottle options, uh, widths, uh, spacing, et cetera. Um, and is just gonna be, and, and is framed in steel. Phase two of this, which will be available mid-year, is going to be a more modular version of this. So the plan is to have this as a super custom option for very specific clientele needs and have a, a more uh, on, the, on, the, on job site expandable version to, to build and, and, spec and scale a little bit differently. Um, so both of these are gonna be perfect for half walls. Think under the bar, uh, for example. These are gonna create nearly invisible room dividers. They're really, really just beautiful in a very minimalist way to, to display wine. Um, the first installation of both of these was by Suzanne Saar of SunWest Custom Homes. Uh, my first reaction when I saw the Rhino, it was exciting because it's something I haven't used before. This is coming from one of the top design build professionals in the Las Vegas market who's accustomed to seeing flashy, new, innovative things. So lots of cool things here. With that, I'm gonna, gonna uh, be quiet for the next 50 seconds and show you the first project, uh, the New American Home that I've referenced. It shows both the post and panel. Uh, so for the next 50 odd seconds, just enjoy the show. So I hope you got a, a quick uh, understanding of how versatile this product is. That was a much more minimalist, minimalist spacing than you might require for more uh, hardcore collectors. Uh, that home just really showcased how much we love this product and it was paired with that beautiful fireplace in the background, which we loved as well. Um, we're gonna have a lot more information, more evolution of that, uh, that product line in the coming weeks, months. Um, we can't wait to help you get that into your uh, design design so please let your rep know how we can help with that moving on evolution this is our uh, three-tiered system where you can uh, free stand it stand it mount it mix it into your millwork and of course now you can float it with a similar uh, system of uh, of a post just that we just saw in the vino series jumping in the first piece of this is the evolution wine tower this has been the longest piece of this uh, collection in our product line this is acrylic sides, freestanding, and uh, steel rods that connect everything. One of the great pieces about this is the fact that these naturally come spaced for uh, both uh, magnums, champagne bottles, and standard bottles, which gives it a little bit more breathability in terms of visual aesthetic, uh, great for contemporary designs. While we sell a lot of these in terms of the standard 81 bottle, 126 bottle, and 162 bottle uh, pieces, cases, the thing I love about the Evolution Wine Tower is the flexibility in that, we'll call it custom world, but it's really semi-custom in terms of lead times and cost. Um, so the first thing you can do is whether it's standard or custom is you can extend these to the side. This diagram just shows you how you share a wall and keep going uh, you know, left or right to ramp up that bottle capacity, ramp up that, uh, that space filling to meet the actual product needs. Um, you're gonna have uh, two basic choices of finish, your satin black steel rod or your chrome plated uh, steel rod. And then you can get super creative, right? Um, the acrylic itself, we can do anything from single bottle depth to about 12 bottles deep. We can go up to 10 feet tall we can change out the powder, the wine rods with different powder coats and do custom acrylic colors. One of the coolest applications of this is this concept that you're seeing here is that floating wine wall single deep with uh, an Evolution uh, Tower wine, uh, wine clamp that allows us to have 
one of the easiest to install, most beautiful, minimalist ways to float wine against glass. We have a version of this in our design center now that is just stunning. Um, this is the answer when you are posed to the question of, of uh, specifying in a, a table system and want something without the headache of installation, without that astronomical cost, this is a great option for those clients that want something invisible that's easy to work with. This is in our design center. So this is a single bottle depth custom acrylic uh, wine tower. It just looks great. Um, we look right through the right from a, a mock-up cellar into the entertaining space that we've created here in Denver. And this is the other side looking in. So a really great way to, to push it up against glass. You can change the width of those bottles, uh, those rods. You can make them more narrow. Uh, lots of lots of flexibility there. The cases themselves, the wine towers themselves, uh, even without the customized, look fantastic, and they really take up no visual space. Um, these things are, are essentially uh, a minimalist bookcase for wine. One of the things we always note on this, um, we call them freestanding, but especially in those six and eight, uh, eight ish foot uh, wine towers, these are super top heavy and should always be secured to something. Um, in a case like this, where you don't have obvious access to a wall to secure something to, we can work with you to create floor mounting solutions that are all uh, standard off the uh, standard offerings. So a lot of ways to make sure that these things are every bit as secure as they are beautiful. The installation on these is the easiest thing that we, we offer. This is um, easier than Ikea furniture, which most people think is easy anyway. Uh, but this is basically screwing stuff into acrylic panels and maybe a little bit of manpower depending on how big the actual uh, display is. But uh, we've got great resources and um, little handy tips, uh, tips like using a, a torque controlled drill with a hex key that can just install all those rods very easily into the acrylic. The literal evolution of evolution has been the wine wall, which is about a year old product. This has been a really game-changing addition to our lineup. This is a different version of, of our label forward on a wall. Um, we have had a lot of successes on this for a variety of reasons. So this comes in, in a similar aesthetic look as the wine tower, where you're going a standard three bottles wide, and it has all that flexibility of our W series, where we have different heights that stack on top of each other with single, double, or triple bottle depths. Really easy to scale real large product projects. Um, this has the advantage of being able to, again, put those uh, magnums on the same, uh, same row as your, your champagne bottles and standard. So lots of flexibility for the collector and for the design. Just like the wine tower, this expands to the side. You share a wall, add, add a call, an extension, share a wall, add an extension to meet your project needs. The installation of this is essentially a combination of the wall mounting that we were familiar with with our vino pins and our w series as well as just the understanding of how to put these pieces together like our evolution wine tower uh, the only thing to note on these is depending on how large of a scale of you're going uh, you might be building this on the ground and, and lifting it into place to install it to the wall so while easy you're, you're going to want a second maybe third person depending on the scale of the project to help you with these things Got a lot of tips and tricks. Uh, the video guide for this should be available any day now. We are in the final edits of that, so we'll make sure to get that in your hands as well. Custom option, so this is an, an industrial look. We've got that strap steel on the side that comes in the matte black. Um, you can powder coat that, as well as powder coat the rods themselves, and we can cut shorter widths to, to meet the needs of your, your project. This is a great example of, of what this looks like, and what I love about this is people ask us all the time, well, what, why would I choose this over the W series in terms of uh, wall mounted um, uh, wine storage? And the answers are, really, there's, there's some very specific advantages of both. I talk about the W series, you know, our main product offering as a great option when the end user and your client wants to see nothing but the bottle. Really the rack gets out of the way and all you see is bottle, 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 repeat. In this case, because it's got that extra spacing for those magnums, we have a little bit different spacing uh, vertically, which allows us to see through to the behind the wall. So I recommend this for clients who are putting this up against, um, you know, cool woodwork like this or reclaimed wood or anything else they want to see in there or, or just have that little bit more visual breadth that isn't all bottled. As well as if you have collectors who have no idea how many bottles of champagne they're going to have compared to standard, et cetera, 
they don't have to decide different styles of racking, they all go on the same thing there. So really just project specific, which one is going to scale best for them. And I'm realizing I didn't update the right photo here, but uh, the wine wall post is, is the next iteration of this. So this takes off, takes the uh, evolution wine wall off the wall itself. Um, we actually use the same post in the Vino series as we do the wine wall. So it's a two piece section, 10 feet cut to fit on site, patent pending, um, really cool mounting uh, options itself. Um, the only difference of this is some of the hardware that we, we supply with it, as well as the number of posts you need. So we sell the, the wine wall post single, you know, by, by a single post. You need two of these for a standard column of, uh, of the wine wall. If you're using extensions, you would add one per extension to get to the desired uh, look that you need here. Um, so again, back of bar not needed. You can go up to 10, 10 feet, cut to fit on site. So you're going to pick your number of posts based on the racking. Then you're going to pick your racking and build the actual racking itself. Once the racking is built, then you install it to the post under, excuse me, under one or both sides. Um, so the same flexibility, you can go triple deep on both sides and really go super max capacity if you want. Um, uh, lots, of, lots of options here. And then once you have it built, you're gonna put it up against into the ceiling and into the floor. So again, this is suitable for a variety of floor and ceiling surfaces. You can go into concrete, you can go into wood, follows the same rules as you would uh, if you're used to using our W series framing systems. The example here is in our design center. This is using a mixture of three deep um, wine wall racking uh, below with our presentation row above it and then single deep up above that. So a really cool look, lots of bottle capacity and we pushed it off of the wall here for that little visual space and to allow some, some lighting behind that. This is the other angle of it, which shows the two, the, both, both the single sided that I just described there, as well as a double sided version of this, which we is actually located in our warehouse up against this glass wall. This is single deep bottle capacity on one side with triple deep on the other. So lots of bottle capacity, that really classic look that we have pioneered of putting wine right up against glass and having the right bottle count easily, easy accessibility. Um, lots of versatility here. Again, uh, the one on the right-hand side behind the glass is a, is a custom width, so we cut down the wine rods to meet the width of the window and center it nicely. You could have easily done that in standard uh, width as well. So this is basically taking that industrial look of the wine wall and, and putting it wherever you need it to. As with the Vino series post that I mentioned, by um, by April, we're gonna have all the, the accoutrements, so to speak, so we can do floor back to wall with an elbow bracket. We'll be doing angles and all that fun stuff to, to meet your project needs. So we'll have a lot of fun with these. Um, we are, as a standard, only selling this in matte black to match the matte black of the Evolution wine wall. However, there's no reason you couldn't swap it out when we have the gunmetal and the gold and bronze from the Vino series available, if, if you just like that look. So two-tone is a possibility here. That could be, uh, we have actually, the Evolution wine rods are gonna be coming in gold and bronze soon. So we have a lot of fun with the gold and bronze frame, black uh, racking uh, straps behind it and, and gold and bronze rods. So lots of design possibilities here. And then the wine rods themselves, when we, we, we talk about standing it, we talk about um, the freestanding, the, the wall mounts and now the floating. Uh, but you can also use these, uh, you know, many of our, our top design professionals are either mill workers themselves or have great mill working uh, uh, contacts. These can go into really any, any design you have. It just makes it easier for you to understand uh, kind of what goes where and, and how to do it. So these wine rods themselves, they come in a meter length or to the number appropriate for the configuration of your, of your uh, display itself. We can do, the, of course, the custom shorter widths and powder coat them. They go into pocket holes, so great for cabinetry, or we can put the hardware on the outside of your wood, metal, whatever your frame that you're working with. We have plotting guides available, and we can really help you uh, build whatever you need or design whatever you need on, on just using the wine rod, so definitely use us as a resource there. An example of this was uh, the, this is the 
71 above, which is at the top of the US Bank building in downtown Los Angeles. The design firm there created custom metal frames to match the aesthetic of the room and use the wine rods to fit exactly where they needed them to. So really just a uh, uh, sexy wine wall that fit their, their aesthetic needs and we were able to customize it to, to meet the project goals. And then we also have like on the very small scale, a designer uh, decided to fill these little you know, pockets uh, of, of wall space with, uh, with wine, bottles of wine. And so we simply cut our wine rods down to fit the, the width. This is approximately 13 inches wide. They install those in the pocket holes. And then you've got you know, a couple dozen bottles of really uh, well-designed you know, wine displays for, to really add that kind of interactivity, that fun, casual, passive wine display into this home. Even with the wine rack being full, it doesn't take up much space visually because the sides are clear, rods are thin, and the eyes carry to the space. That's what I love about the evolution, regardless of what option you're doing, just really visually gets out of the way and lets um, you have a, lo a lot of bottle capacity when needed without taking up a lot of uh, visual space. So great, great design feature that's scalable to meet your needs. Now we're gonna wrap up today's uh, webinar with Case and Crate, uh, putting the style into bulk storage. This is really a, a, a way that you can ramp up bottle count and mix up the design aesthetic with a very easy to use freestanding system. Uh, one of the unique things, we offered this originally with the idea that this would really um, resonate in the commercial setting. Uh, golf clubs, uh, condo associations, um, you know, seasons 52 style restaurants that might want to have a locker program. Funny thing happened on the way to those plans, the, the residential market has really, really picked up on this. And we're starting to see why. The idea being you can take a, uh, a short version of this like you see in this parlor uh, on, the, on the screen here and ramp up bottle count with a bin or locker space uh, below and put display racking on the top to, to really elevate the design while also capturing a lot more bottles of, of wine storage. The way this system works is super simple. It starts with a base unit, which is sh shown in this diagram in the dark black um, highlights, and then you expand. You either add extensions to the side or you add, uh, you stack them on top to, to meet the, the, the needs of your, your bottle capacity or design. And then you can add locker faces, X bins, uh, we have uh, a, a acrylic shelf if you want it. We call it the Syrah shelf if you want to stand a bottle up for, for aesthetic add-ons. Um, you can add locks to make them secure and, and really just figure out what you want to do. Um, we've also added the, the back, which is shown in this image on the right-hand side. So this comes with an open back, originally designed to go up against the wall for security. Um, we quickly added the back as an upgrade depending on your product need, your, your project needs. If you want to see, this works kind of the same way with the Evolution Wine Wall. If you want to see what's behind the wall, because you've got reclaimed wood, tile, whatever, leave the back off. If you don't want to see that wall or want to have added security, maybe in a more freestanding thing away from the wall, add the back backer piece to it. So really to meet your design needs, just um, figure out whether you need to upgrade to that or not. One of the things, again, we, we noted that we thought this was going to be way bigger in the commercial, and it's been strong there. But part of the reason is if you've ever walked into a, uh, a Morton's or a Capitol Grill, they typically have you know tens of thousands of dollars in custom uh, wine lockers built, and they rent them out or reserve them for their most frequent clients and customers. The idea being those clients feel like they can bring in their family, friends, uh, business associates, and pull a bottle from their exclusive uh, locker seller uh, leads to ROI, means they're gonna come in more frequently, they're gonna buy more wine, et cetera. Um, this allows us, if you, that Capital Grill example, you know that might be $40,000 in custom millwork. You can do this for a fraction of that so that that commercial property just a, a step below in tier pricing. So lots of options there. The finishes of this, just satin black for now. Um, it cut, we do a lot, we've done some really cool custom powder coating jobs if you do want to scale to meet uh, different needs. However, that satin black, that, that matte black looks good with just about any other racking offering that we offer, as well as any custom wood stuff. So lots of design flexibility, even in, though it comes in just one color itself. Installation is easy. One of the reasons I can prove this is we, as an exercise to show the team how to build this, we gave them a finished version to look at 
We didn't give them any instructions and we broke them into teams and had them race to see who could build one first without instructions. The winning team did in about 10 minutes sans instructions. So uh, it's just, you know, plopping in different pieces with metal self drilling screws. So really uh, easy to put together. We're happy to help with video guides, et cetera, just like everything else. Here's a great example. This is a winery in, um, in, in Pinot country in Oregon. Um, they used our case and crate in a bin configuration in kind of a unique manner. We haven't seen a lot of people do bulk storage, so to speak, standing the bottles up, uh, but they did that there. Uh, they mixed it in with our display racking above and to the side. And so when you walk in, you've got unique ways to interact with those labels, uh, which is very important for a winery. They want the customers to see the label. They want the customers to buy the label, repeat. And so this was a cool way of them showing, showing off. And I love that it's standing up, uh, even though a majority of, of the actual applications that we see are in that typical stacking um, label out. As we wrap up, just a friendly reminder with everything we covered today, and if you were on the call yesterday, everything we covered um, yesterday, as well as the other webinars we'll be doing later this week and next, um, we offer complimentary design. So if you need help understanding what product is going to fit into what space, we will work with you. Or we can give you the CAD blocks if you've got those um, capabilities in-house. We can offer you consultation, not only on product mix, uh, but, you know, whether you need to, to recommend cooling or other ideas to your clients, and we cover those in some of the webinars tomorrow and next week. We have samples, catalogs, and any other inspiration. Just reach out to me or to your uh, rep, and we'll get whatever you need, uh, within reason, into your hands. Everything we cover today, with the exception of some of the custom options, are going to ship same day, Monday through Friday, by 2 p.m. cutoff. So while these are going into beautiful custom pieces, uh, custom rooms, these are things you can get relatively quickly. We back everything with a lifetime warranty. We know these products are going to last in the cellar longer than the wines, longer than the homeowners. And in the odd, off chance that it does not, we're going to do our best uh, to replace or to fix or to make it right. And that goes along with just the idea that we want to offer industry best customer service. We hope that we can provide that with you and we are the easiest and most fun manufacturer you work with. Um, if we miss the mark on any of that, please let us know because we will fix it. We want to fix it. As I mentioned and have mentioned a couple times, we are offering five of these webinars on a quarterly basis. Uh, later tomorrow, we're going to do passive versus active cooling. And then we'll get our, maybe it's design trends. I, I, I'm mixing up my schedules now, but we also have design trends in how to sell a wine cellar. So how to really up, upsell your clients, make them happy with a beautiful room of course, and how to sell vintage you alongside of that. Um, if there's a topic you would like to see covered, um, something that we didn't cover today, something that we didn't cover yesterday, please reach out to us, marketing at vintageu.com or your direct sales rep. We really want to make sure you have all the resources you need to successfully specify beautiful, functional, and amazing wine rooms, wine walls, wine cellars for your clients, because happy clients make happy designers and builders, happy designers and builders make happy Vintage View friends and family. Um, Jacob Harkins, marketing director here at Vintage View, thank you for taking 42 minutes out of your day. I have to unfortunately apologize for the snafu with the uh, audio, again, the first five minutes of it. Uh, we will have that totally fixed tomorrow. I am relatively confident. Um, let us know how we did. Thank you so much for taking the time to, to speak with us today and have a great rest of your day. And thank you for skipping lunch if you did. We will talk to you tomorrow and or next week.